look. Okay, so these are Baroque pearls. And Baroque pearls, let's see if I can do this, tend to have a very, they can have very high luster. So I'm trying to show you, you see this diamond probe here in my hand? Well, the diamond probe, I can, I'm trying to cast a shadow on the pearl using the tip of the probe. Let me see. And if I can, do you see it? You see how sharp it is? It's like a needle. So when you have really good luster on pearls, it gets like an almost mirror-like finish. Um, I've always loved broke pearls. So I'm gonna tell you a quick story. Yesterday, my husband and I were looking for furniture and we looked at these beautiful Italian leather couches. I mean, divine. And all I could think was, I kinda wanna ruin it. I kinda wanna poke a hole in it. I kinda wanna scratch the leather. I kinda wanna be bad. And then I can fix it and then I'd be comfortable with it. And that's kind of my ethos, ethos, however you say that word, is that I like things that are a little messed up. Um, it's probably why I love antique and estate jewelry. I like beautiful, unique, cool things. I like them kind of organic and soft, and I like them kind of worn, um, broken in, so to speak. So and versus round pearls that are like perfectly spherical, I've always been attracted to Baroque pearls because I like the imperfect, uh, perfect kind of look perfect imperfections. So anyway, these pearls have the most amazing luster. And that's what I was trying to show you with the diamond probe. It's like almost like this satiny high polish look. And you can see the texture to the pearl. It just looks so real to me. It's, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a diamond with a little bit of color. It just, it seems more authentic. Um, I've always loved this. I love the dimensions, the balance. If you get a really good strand of Baroques, it, it needs to balance and it needs to make sense. It's not like lining up a bunch of round pearls that you have to measure to make sure you have the match and you have to have the color and the luster and all those things. But with Baroque pearls, it takes more of an artistic eye because you have to make sure it balances even though none of these match. None of them are exactly the same. They're all a little bit different, but these are very large pearls with very high luster and they're very white. They're just brilliant. And these earrings are the same. And in the earrings, you can really see the texture to the pearl and the variety to it. And it just looks like something that came out of the ocean and jumped out of the water right onto your body as it should be. Broke pearls.